Hey, what's up y'all? It's TJ with Faker to Make It. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading my regular old DeWalt shop vac with a dust right separator. So to better help you understand why you would even want to perform this upgrade on your shop vac, I'm going to explain to you how it works. The first thing you need to know is that a shop vac is a single stage dust collector. In its simplest form, that's all it is. This means that dust and debris come in through the hose, the heavier dust and debris fall to the bottom in the bag, and this is stored on the unit itself. Then the finer dust and particles have to be passed through the pleated filter before exhausting the unit so that the air on the exhaust side of the motor is clean when it comes out. Another thing about pleated filters on shop vacs is you can clean them a few times before you actually have to replace them. You'll only be able to do that for so long before you start killing the performance of your shop vac. Now that we've established what a single stage dust collection system is, now we're gonna talk about a two stage system. In a two stage system, your first stage is going to be your dust separator. And from the dust separator, you go to the actual shop vac itself. So what essentially you have is a hose that goes from the vacuum cleaner to the dust separator and from this other port goes to your vacuum hose itself. So whenever you're picking up and cleaning up dust and debris with the vacuum hose, that trash comes in through this port, the heavy stuff falls out and lands in the bottom of this bucket and then the finer dust comes out of this port and goes into the shop vac where it is further, that air is further cleaned by the pleated filter before exhausting out of the back of the vacuum cleaner. The way the dust separator works is on the bottom of the lid, you have two opposite facing 90 degree fittings where the air is pulled in and it creates a cyclone action in the bucket. While that's doing that, the heavier trash falls to the bottom of the bucket and the finer dust comes and exhaust into the shop vac where that air is further cleaned by the pleated filter before exiting the vacuum cleaner itself. It's a very simple principle that this dust separator works on. And I've seen a lot of people make their own out of five gallon buckets and PVC fittings. But the cool thing about this dust separator, I got it for Christmas. My mama got it for me, so I don't have to make one. <laughs> I figured I would show you what it looks like in a shop vac that has never been hooked up to a dust separator. Check this out. That is so gnarly. So the first thing we need to do to assemble our dust separator is there is a, a little recess right here in the shape of a triangle on the rim of this 90 degree fitting. If you look on the bottom side of the lid, there is a corresponding positive shape of a triangle that will go into the triangle shape on this fitting. So we're gonna drop that down on there and try and turn it and make sure it locks on. We're gonna flip it over. And take our other fitting and screw it down into that 90 degree spout there. And we're going to do the same thing in their directional. So they, they're both going to be facing the opposite way that they can only go in there one way. Flip this one over, put the other fitting on this one. Lock it down. So the lid is pretty much good to go. Now that we have our lid assembled and it should look just like this, the bucket comes in two pieces. I really did not know that whenever, uh, whenever I was looking at them online. So it was kind of a surprise to me. And you're gonna instinctually gonna wanna do this like those old telescoping uh, drinking tumblers from the 80s. But no, you wanna take the bottom piece out and it's got, tabs around the inside of the bottom piece of the bucket. You want to turn the bucket, the top portion 
until it lines up with the tabs and it's semi-transparent so you'll be able to see on the outside if your tabs meet up with your recesses in the top collar. And just snap it down and now you have a complete dust collection bucket. And the way you turn the lid, you put the lid on, you line it up, there's some, some cutouts right here and right here. And you take this portion here that's got like a little hook on it, line that up, make sure it's seated, and then you turn it to lock it. There you have it. Now, this portion of the dust separator is assembled. Alejo, onward with the video. Wow, there's two bags in there. I did not know that. This is where you don't want to mess up. I've done this before where you don't make you don't pull the bag apart enough and open it a little bit till you can you want to make sure that this port here goes into the opening of this bag without tearing it. So you want to be kind of gentle with it. All right, so now I'm just gonna install the casters. It's kind of chilly out here, so the casters don't want to just pop right in. They have a snap ring right there, and pretty much once you put them in there, you're not gonna get them out easily. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of a little bit of oil, put it on there, and maybe make it a little easier to insert. They're pretty they're kind of tough, so I don't want to crack the, the plastic housing on this because it is cold out here, so it can be, it'll be kind of brittle. You could use grease or whatever, just something to make it slide in a little easier. Because if you crack this, you'll be screwed. All right. Next thing we have is you have these two filters that come with the dust separator, and this is what's going to combined with this flex hose is what's going to connect your shop vac to your new dust separator unit. What you're gonna do is it has a thread on there while it's still pushed in together, insert it and get it started. And these are reverse threads. So start slowly threading it in there until it seats and you'll have a nice snug fit there. And then you'll do the other side the same way. And these, these are reverse threads, so you do have to turn them lefty tighty, not, not righty tighty. So make sure you turn them left. And then now you can move it however you need to. All right, now that we have the dust separator assembled and we have a fresh bag and a clean filter, HEPA filter, in our shop vac. All we need to do is hook this up from the vacuum port on the shop vac to the port on the dust collector. Then we're going to take our stock hose that came with the DeWalt shop back itself and plug it in to the other port. Okay, look, I got a job for you. Yeah. Look, I need you to go 
in the dust separator to make sure that it is functioning properly. Yeah, I, I know. I, I need you to do this for me. It, it's very important. Come on, man. Look, I need you to go in the dust separator and make sure that it's functioning properly. I will put you in there, put the lid on it, suck up some stuff on the floor, and then I'll pull you out. It, it's going to be fine. I promise. Look, look, look. Come on. Look. Just look. Right. Okay. Right there. You're fine. You're fine. I'll get you out in a minute. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that wasn't that bad. Okay, okay, you got a little something. You got a little something right there. You're okay. So how how did it go? Did it look okay? Yeah, it worked good. Good deal. Thank you so much. I, you know what? I'm gonna give you a raise. Okay, obviously you can see by the floor, I still have a lot of vacuuming to do. Well, let's take a look and see what we've caught. The lid is a little bit awkward to take off because it rolls around. I'll just grab it with my feet and hold it. So, captured all of that, okay? Just a little bit of vacuuming that I did. Now, the other test. Let's take a look at our inside of our shop vac. Now, this is a used filter. This isn't, this is the same filter I had before. I just cleaned it out really thoroughly with some air and tapped it out and and just took my time and get it got it as clean as i possibly could there's still a lot of life left in this filter uh, even though it looked terrible earlier it's uh it's still a good filter really nothing in there let me see if i could shine the flashlight down in there Bear with me. Just a little bit. You'll have to take my word for it. See that dust floating around in there? Only the finest of dust 
is present in the bag. There's no big stuff, no big chunks, no shavings, just fine dust. So, I consider this a success. So there you have it. The Dust Right Separator works like a charm. You can find these at Rockler, and I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can go check them out for yourself. You can get them with different kits that have different attachments and hoses and different implements for whatever your needs may be. Now, one thing to note is in the instructions with the dust separator, it says here some shop back hose fittings are slightly under two and a quarter. In this case, a couple of wraps of tape will make the tighter fit. So if you need to, and your, your fitting is too loose, you can actually take a few wraps of tape around the metal end of the hose to snug that up. Also, the fact that these two units roll independent of each other poses its own set of problems. If you have stuff laying around like I do and you have cords all over the floor, you can actually pull these apart or unplug them or turn this over. So in the near future, what I plan to do is actually mount these on a rolling cart where they're fixed to the cart and can't move independent of each other. Then I'll just have to wheel the whole thing around to my smaller tools to catch dust. So if you're like me and you already have a large dust collection system in your shop, you would ask yourself why you would even need to go this route. Well, in my shop, all of my big tools that are permanently in place have this big five inch piping coming from the big dust collector to these permanently fixed position tools. Well, the thing is, is like your smaller tools like a uh, chop saw, palm sanders, skill saw, anything like that, you would have to use a smaller diameter hose and that just doesn't work as good with the large dust collection systems. All right, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, at the time of this recording, I am currently sitting at 298 subscribers. If you would, please go to my channel and subscribe. I would really love to get over the 300 subscriber mark. Also, if you want to see whenever I put new content out, be sure to hit that little bell for notifications. Y'all be safe and y'all come back now. <laughs> yeah, I'm I bet we're probably going to get some pretty nasty comments on this one. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll get over it. Yeah. I mean... I'm sure nobody's got any questions for me. <laughs> I mean, this, a five-year-old could put this thing together. I don't even know why I bother making a video over it. <laughs> Before they're completely too far gone. Wow. Perfect timing, bro. Perfect timing. Move stop. You little bastard. They snap in just real easy. Well, they snap in real easy. I said they snap in real easy. Okay, that wasn't as easy as I wanted it to be. All right, I got a solution for this. Sometimes you just need a big hammer. You can get them with uh, different kits, uh, different...